So we're back with Video City. We just closed out the SM Leathers collection and we have Groove. Dope House Groovy from Harlem. All right, all the way from Harlem. We love the style, we love the groove. The name of the brand is Fire. Um, Thank you. The, the underbrand, the Dippin' Donuts. Dippin' Donuts too. So yeah. what inspired this collection? Because we did hear from the last collection. So what made you, what brand, what makes this one different? It's more personal. Mm -hmm. Like, how can I say? It's, it's personal. Being from Harlem, fashion is a part of us. Like, we say we don't get dressed. We don't get fresh. We just get dressed. We just put it on. Like, if y'all know how New York City is with fashion. You just, you just do what you feel. And somebody else is going to like it. Like, oh, you like that? Watch what I do tomorrow. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just inspiring self-confidence. Self-made lovers. You make it yourself. You feel self inspire it don't be scared to get it yourself where did you learn how to design did you learn it like on your own oh did this? you have anybody that you that inspired you with your style i or? say you be in your house during covid and you just put things together like i can't i'm tired of buying other people's stuff how many it times don't fit that? well they got like tight jeans I, my legs is too big for that i can't do that so you start making stuff for yourself. And once you do that, you just like, oh, I could do this. And yeah, people vibe, but then you're like, well, why not sell it to the, to the audience, to the masses? Yeah, but uh, I don't want to do mass production. I want it like an NFT. Keep so it exclusive. you might have a self-made leather, leather mm -hmm. but it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Everything is a one-on-one. -on -one. Everything is an NFT. I like you've that. seen this one, mm -hmm. but you also seen a yellow one. It's only one yellow. One camo, mm. one black. I like that. So whatever size it's in, do you make like? No, you can make it in your size. Self-made. Okay. It's your creation. You're not making. Like that. You're not making a. You're not buying a level so from us. So I can't us. be like, I want this jacket. Um, this is the only one that's available. Can you make it in? Like, if I say I like this, can you redo it in red or? Like yeah, then it will only be one red on the planet because you made it. I like that. That's Whatever fire. your that's vision is, original. you're not buying a self-made leather. Mm -hmm. You're buying your vision, your brand. You got a logo. Give it to me. Ooh. You like the color? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. Wait a minute. So, any entrepreneur, they have a logo. You can make them their own leather jackets, like, with, yes. with their logo on the back. Yes. Wow. Yes. It's not for me. It's self-made. It's so self- what keeps the, what keeps, what's like the common thread? If, if everything is a, is a one of one right? How do you know, like, okay, this collection is going to be this theme? If everything's a, no, it's not a no. collection. See, people do collections like, okay, we're going to do five of these. Yeah. Men, women. That's the collection. We just did one. We can't collect it. It's an NFT. Okay, I love that. Now, you might, somebody might like this. They, they probably thinking, well, what about if I had my initials there? Mm -hmm. Put it there. It's your jacket. So when you walk in the street, everybody has a self-made because we all self-made. I like that. But story. your idea on the outside is totally different. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm excited to see what else you come up with. Give us our logo. I'll get you. Okay. Look, look, no, they don't want to get me started because, <laughs> no, I'm definitely going to be there with I a logo you. for you. But um, I can't wait to have you back on Video City. Like I said, we're planning on doing this often. So, hit us up. We be here. You can find me on Instagram, Leon the Third, Self Made Lovers. Y'all can find me. We are out. We're going to close out with our last designer. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Let's go. I, I never sketch. You don't sketch? I, I don't do it. It I just do. comes, you just see the form? Yes. yes. I, I inspire in something and I, I see the, the, the fabric mm -hmm. and I say, okay, this is the dress and I do it. If I sleeping, I wake up and I do it. Really? Yes. <laughs> do you do more like custom pieces or do you try yes. to have like different sizes in the same? Uh... I have twice. I have mm -hmm. a, a custom pieces in my atelier in Miami. The woman comes and I, I do whatever they want from my line mm -hmm. and I fix for his custom. Yes. Custom. Make a custom, yes. Okay. And I love to do it. <laughs> I result the, the best part on each woman. I love to do it. Where would you say, um, what would be your, you've been doing this 20 years, right? Yes. What would be that moment for you where you feel like, okay, I've made it? Now. 
And thanks to you for giving me this opportunity. No problem. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank Love you. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Luna B. And we're here in Times Square shooting another episode of Video City TV. And today we have the Italian goddess hailing all the way from Italy, <laughs> Mariah Christie. Hi. Hello. Thank you. I've been so excited to interview her all week. Now, I have to hear about everything because Italy is one of my dream places. Tell me everything about growing up in Italy. Oh, I live near Modena, near okay. Ferrari, and I'm very happy to be here today. Thanks for this chance, thanks to Video City and you to give me the chance to be here today to talk about me and my music. Yeah, I love it. And see, I've been listening to her music. She has some jams, y'all. Like, I was listening to it in the car, just rocking back and forth. She makes music that's good for the club, but also good for you just chilling at home. So I need to hear about how you got started in the music career, like an Italian woman just starting her, her shot in music. How did that happen? Okay, I started in, uh, studying music piano, uh, but I don't call myself pianist. Okay. I write my music, I used to write uh, my song, and okay. then I go to the studio to Vincenzo Muret, that, uh, that is an Italian pianist, and um, I, write, I write the lyrics and okay. the music, and then if he say, oh, it's okay, we go right to write the song. I love it. At first, I perform my first song for uh, the brother of uh, Ivana Spagna, that uh, he's an Italian singer nice. for Japanese market, for wow. Japanese, yeah. And uh, the song, uh, it was uh, high on devotion. Okay. I only performed the song. It reached the position number five in the top 50 uh, in the year 2001 in Japan. Yes, look, she charts, y'all, okay? <laughs> she is charting. I love it so much. So that's amazing that you have such a big clientele in Japan. Like, I know that I've seen you've been, your music's been featured in Japanese film festivals and things like that. Also, you were in a New York film festival, correct? Yeah, that's oh right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Tell me more about that. Tell me more okay. about that. I participated in the Nielsen, Nielsen Gallery in Film Festival in New York. Okay. And I received the, the award for Peace and Love. It's oh. a song I wrote um, to because to people who lost someone during the, uh, the COVID and mm. um, because of the Twin Towers attack. And uh, I think... Uh, Everybody needs um, needs love and peace, yeah. in particular when you live difficult moments. Mm -hmm. I love that, and you know what? I felt that in your music, it does like channel that that spirit of peace and love. And I know your titles are like "My Angel," "I Feel," "Peace and Love." I just love how connected you are to that spirit. I love that. So tell me more about what you have going on. Like I've seen some of your music videos. I've seen your things that you have going on. Where can we find you? I know you're all the way in Italy, but okay. where can we find you? Okay. You can find uh, my music on uh, YouTube or Spotify, iTunes, uh, and um, on 8th March of this year I went out uh, with uh, my album No Chance, that's uh, an album uh, against gender-based violence. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's uh, very important for me. When I write music, I used to... Um, I used to try to tell something important to people because I think it's important to tell, to change the world yeah. to, for a better world. Um, in this moment, we are, we are living uh, very problems, yeah. uh, the mm -hmm. war, uh, um, the health problems, uh, and uh, I think mm -hmm. it's very important. Uh, we, we try to tell, uh, to, be close, to be close to people. Yeah. When I write my last um, song, Como el agua y feel, that's in Spanish mm -hmm. and English too. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful song. Yes, I love that one. I'd like, I hope uh, there is a DJ that uh, would like to do a remix of uh, yeah. this song because I, I think it's possible. And I think it is too. <laughs> I think that'd be perfect. I would be dancing to it, y'all. <laughs> I love that. Uh, and this song talks about the fact that we are like water. Yeah. Uh, water every day that uh, have to face problems. But we have never stopped to dream. Mm -hmm. We have to keep on dreaming because it's, it's very important. I love that. Dreams are life, yeah. I think. <laughs> See, and you're a writer. Like, I know you write music for other artists and things like that. Tell me more yeah. about that. Tell yeah. me what, what you have going on there. I love uh, 
I love writing music and uh, I like to write um, songs for other artists and other for film too mm, because uh, it will, it will, it, this is a dream for me mm. and I hope that this could be happen. My it's already happening. Look at this. <laughs> We're here in Times Square in the rain. Look, it's already happening. I it's love wonderful. it. Yes, it's yeah. literally, it's wonderful. So I know you're a writer, and also you've written some books as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to know more yeah. about your book that you have, uh, uh, My American yeah. Secret. My American Secret. Yes, tell me about that book. Yeah, it's a book that uh, tells about uh, the story of uh, the girls, uh, girls that came here in the United States. Okay. Uh, then he has to come back uh, to Italy. It's a love story between an Italian girl and a military, an American military. I love it. But when um, she, she could come, come back in the, in the United States, and uh, this book, uh, it was a, a film. And I hope one day there, there will be the opportunity to have a film. I do want money. I do want money. Yeah. I do this uh, because uh, I believe. For the love uh, of it. Yeah. I believe. I want. I want to change the world. I want mm. uh, to be close to people. This is the reason why I write music. I write this book. Yeah. Uh, and this, uh, this for me is very important. Yeah. Not, uh, not, uh, not money. Yeah. But, uh, but to be close to people. I love and that. And to tell something that. That's important. I love that. And I know My American Secret has won awards, correct? It's been and featured in a couple different of those festivals we talked about earlier, correct? Yes, this uh, book uh, participating in the um, Miracle Maker Film Festival. Oh. And uh, we are having nomination with uh, my album too, No Chance. Oh my I God. had to be here last, the past year uh, in Los Angeles, but I had some promise and okay, I yeah. couldn't be, be here. Yeah. And I, I, I say, I hope one day to be in the United States. Yes. Because you, you gave me a lot. I think uh, I learned, uh, I've learned a, a lot from American people and I, I want to thank you so much. Oh, see, I love that. Oh, yeah. See, yeah. I love that so much. I think this United States, um, I think uh, here we can find meritocracy that in Italy doesn't yeah. exist. Oh, I and see. And I love this so much. I love, I love it. Yeah. So tell me about this album, because we haven't even got to talk yeah. about the album. Like, I need yeah. to know what is the vibes, what are the aesthetics, what is the album? Just, well, I want to know more about it. Okay. So tell me about okay. it. Yeah. In uh, this album, you can find uh, all my singles, Peace and Love, Perfect Girl, uh, Angel. Okay, yeah. Um, so it's full of bangers. It's full of bangers, obviously. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yeah. And uh, it was in nomination, uh, as I told you, yeah. at the uh, Miracle Maker Film Festival. Amazing. And there are uh, several songs as Angel that I wrote uh, because to be close to people uh, who, um, who, who live the, the COVID, the pandemic. Oh. And Perfect Girl uh, that uh, wants to, to tell people it's important uh, doing, sto uh, doing sport. Uh, and it's not important if you're black or white, if you're Catholic or not. Yeah. Uh, the, video want, the video wants to, to tell this. Uh, yeah. Because uh, we are here to love each other. Oh. And uh, there are uh, several songs. Uh, another song, Don't Tell Me To Go Away, that um, I received the award um, at the Blast of Film Festival in Los Angeles. Oh, this okay, song. Yeah. And uh, I think I'll go on writing music and uh, I'm writing a new song and you're the one. Oh, you're the one. Okay, tell yeah. me about this new song. Look, we're hearing it first on Video City TV, guys. Let's hear. Okay, so you have a new song called You're the One. Tell I me think, about that. Yeah, I think to go on um, next year, I think. And um, there, there was a day that um, a woman that lives in the world. Okay. And he told me, I think that uh, here we need hope. Oh, and yeah. I start writing, writing this song because I think it's important that uh, people can hope um, uh, for a better, uh, for a better um, world. Yeah, uh, for, I agree. For, uh, for a happy I day. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Honestly, I think that's so special. I know, like, 
from hearing everything you speak, like you give me goosebumps with just like how much you're spiritually invested in everything. It's amazing. And, and I think that we don't see many people like you as well, which is like perfect for this. I think like Thank you. the way that you approach your, your craft is so special. And I think that's, we're just very lucky to be able to be interviewing her right now. So I need to see where can we find you at? Where can we find you online? Where can we okay. find your music? How can we stalk you? Because I've been okay. stalking her all week, y'all. Where can I stalk okay. you? <laughs> okay. You can find me on Facebook, Mariah Christie. Okay. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, same name. Okay. And uh, YouTube, Mariah Christie. There, awesome. there you can find my video. And Amazing. search for this. Search yes. for Mariah Christie. She said Google and her name. If you want to write to me, I'll be able to I will, uh, give you an answer. I nice. will be happy to speak to American people. Oh, or everyone it. who wants a uh, wants to know something. See, and we need that. Honestly, we need that peace and love right now, guys. I feel like this is like exactly the energy that we really need. So this has been beautiful. I love this so much. Honestly, Mariah Christie, I'm a big fan. This has been amazing. Oh, thank you. Yes. All the way from Italy, y'all. We had a legend. Amazing. <laughs> Signing off, y'all. You're here to hear first. Your favorite Pisces with a problem. Luna B. We'll see y'all later.
So, tell me about this collection. Well, I'm new to you and I'm also new to fashion. Like, I've been on Video City many times, first for doing marketing promotions for companies, mm -hmm. then I've been on for being an artist, and now, 2024, I'm on here for being a designer. Why we didn't play your song? Excuse me? Why you didn't give me your song to play? I could have played it, we could have walked nah, to okay. that. it's okay, let the models oh, okay. vibe out to what they vibe out to. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna mm -hmm. try to be greedy and try to get everything. I hear you, I hear you. Share the spotlight a little yeah, bit, share right? share the spotlight. I want to be hogging up everything. Mm -hmm. So, but tell yeah, me. Um, Dipper Donuts is actually a stoner brand. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's I saw the stoner, stoner girl on the back of the yeah, last, I mean, the it's, last it's, clip. It's all, about, it's all about weed and being stoned and dipping donuts and missing different different brands together and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I just kept it friendly with the green and purple. What made you put it into fashion? I know you have your vendor side where you have yeah. the edibles and you have different products, but what made you create the fashion collection? Because when I did it, it was Dipper Donuts was a song mm -hmm. and people liked the logo. Okay. So the logo and the t-shirt inspired inspired the whole brand. You know I like that purple and green. And it just grew and it just grew and now I got like hats, shirts. It started with just like, um, with weed paraphernalia, ashtrays, mm -hmm. lighters, and grinders, can of containers, mm -hmm. grinders, and then it grew to the clothes and the hats and the leather. And then I started the leather line. Mm -hmm. So of course I had to make some donuts. I can't wait to see leathers. that. They, they have a bunch of jackets in yeah, the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just, I just been keeping busy and it's just a full time grind, man. I just stay evolving and keeping busy and stay. Well, hopefully we, um, hopefully you have some more collections coming out this, oh, uh, yeah, this yeah. year because you know, Video City, like I said. We might have a quarterly show. Yeah, video series. So, is you know, base. every you know season, here. let's bring you out here. Let's definitely do that. Well, let's get into we have um, another designer coming up, and then we're going to get into the SM Leathers. We got so. some amazing designers. Too. Yes, I'm actually really happy with the turnout that we have today. The models were killing it. Um, this show. If you if you didn't know, this actually came together pretty quickly, and everybody is is uh, doing a great job out here. So. You're amazing. You give it up, give it up to her. Give it up Thank for you. her. She made it so possible. Give it up. Thank you. So Definitely. let's bring out that collection. Let's do it. Is from designer Cuba. Designer from mm -hmm. Cuba. I was born in Cuba. I grew up in Italy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she's doing a bunch of shows for New York Fashion Week. I'm so glad to have her here. Um, I did want to ask her a few questions for Video City because this is going to be our first show of the segment for fashion. Uh, we're going to be doing this quarterly, so we would love to see you come back. But my first question for you is going to be what inspired you to create this collection? Wow. Inspired me the theater. I mm -hmm. love theater. I love mm -hmm. the opera. Mm -hmm. and inspired me the Phantom of the Opera. The Phantom of the Opera? Yes. I was getting that vibe like the, 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 um, with, the with the music, the, the heavy yes. underliner and the yes. eyes, the head wraps. Um, yeah. This is your first collection that's inspired by the opera? Mm, by opera, yes. That's mm -hmm. the first one. Mm -hmm. But not the first one, the first ones in my career. Mm -hmm. Because three years ago, I decided to, you know, register my brand in Cuba. Okay. The place that I was born in there. And in Italy, I work a lot. And they present the first one, first one in Cuba three years ago. Mm -hmm. And I inspired, you know, have a lot of inspiring. I, I always dream. Yes. Yeah, you do a lot of beautiful couture gowns. <laughs> Thank you. How long have you been designing? Three years. Three years? Three years. You've done a lot in three years. No, three that's years, right. but I am a model. So You are a model yes, first. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do that's you the problem. I don't know if this is the problem or not. I think it helps. Yeah. I think it helps with the I networking. Think it yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Um what other shows do you have a show tomorrow? I have a first show in New York. This is uh, produced by you? Yes. Okay. All all all, all the things my creation. I love that yes. for you. I have a collaboration as well with Onday Atelier mm -hmm. and I have the collaboration with Ukrainian Ukrainian designer. Okay. Only men collection. Is that going to be part of the uh, the show tomorrow? The men, the Ukrainian men's collection. No, this this going to be a part, but this mm -hmm. is from Italy. Mm -hmm. The other one for the Ukrainian is more street style. Okay. Well, I'm excited yeah. to see that the next time Thank we have you, you here. Yeah. I know your uh, partner and designer Amdea. She's going to be showing her collection next. Yes. She's from Miami, so it's a collaboration collection. Yes. Let's get you back out there so we can Thank have everybody you. come. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Bye.
so I walked for you maybe like three, four years ago, and ever yes. since I've been fiending to grab your clothing for editorials. <laughs> Um, yes, she has. <laughs> this is one of my favorite designers so far that I've worked with. Thank you. Now, I want to ask you, you have oh, such wow. um, an original style. This this whole line right here is giving me very, like, dark, femi energy, it's takeover. It's called Wicked. Ooh. Yeah. So I hit the it right the name of the, the collection nail. is called Wicked. Okay. So yeah. what inspired your collection, honey? Um, the Twilight... I would say witches, Twilight, the Victorian era. Mm -hmm. I tried to mix that with a little Korean, mm. like a dark Korean witch. Just think of it that way. Okay, I like the given like dark Harajuku, yes. dark um, what's Geisha. The guy, yes, yes. That's, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> you hitting it so, on the spot. How long have you been designing? I've been designing since I was 13 years old. It originally Ooh. started with my Halloween costumes and then it mm -hmm. moved forward to my dance team. So I was a dance yes, teacher yes. for 12 years mm -hmm. and then it went from the dance costumes into the adult wear. Adult wear. Okay, yeah. what do you feel like would be that moment for you where like, okay, I've made it. You know? <laughs> Nikki. Nikki? Just Nikki. Nikki? That's, yep. That's what you want? I did not know. I hit it. On the spot. <laughs> okay, well, let's see how we can make moves to get there. I'm thinking yes. all the PR, all the exposure, yes. everything that you could do. I'm really looking forward to having you back on the runway. Thank hopefully you. Soon. I appreciate you. When is your you. next collection? When so I'm going to add on to this collection Give by the end of this month because I have a few more events to attend. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate you and I thank you. This girl no has modeled for me. She came through. Push, push. Use what you got. Use what you got. <laughs> use what you got. And I just be like, I don't know. But thank you. I appreciate you. And no my problem. next coll collection will be Wicked. But I'm going to continue the line. Like, You're going to continue yeah, the line? Yeah, I'm going to okay. expand it and duplicate more things. Okay, well, yes. Porcelain, thank you for coming on such short notice and showing out for me. <laughs> yes, no And problem, um, we can definitely set up another magazine shoot because of course. I want to yes. strut my runway with your stuff <laughs> okay. too. Okay? All right. All right, so thank we have... Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you.